All right, I'm going to show you how to configure DTP or dynamic trunking protocol. I have these freshly set up switches and now I want to configure them. So on this first switch, switch one, I have this command line interface. It's fully powered up. I'm going to enable it, get into privileged mode. And then I want to show you, first of all, Game Ethernet 0, 01 and 0, 02, which modes they're operating at. So I do show int g0 slash 1 switch port, and you can see that it is operating in static access. I do the same thing with g0 slash 2, and you can see that it's operating in static access. All right, now I'm going to configure one of these to be dynamic auto and one to be dynamic desirable. So I do conf T to get in global configuration mode. From there, I jump into interface mode in G0 slash 1. And I will configure it with switch port mode. And you can see we have access, trunk, and dynamic are their options. So if you do access, you're forcing it to be access. The entire line is forced to be access. Well, I mean, once, at least this side will be access. <clears throat> you could have a mismatch. And if you trunk, you're forcing it to assume the line is trunk. With dynamic, it will negotiate with the other side, and they will decide something. So I'll do dynamic, and then I will look at my options again, and you can see that I have auto and desirable. So I will set the first one to auto. All right, now I go to the other interface, and G0 slash 2, and I will do switch port mode dynamic desirable. Okay, so now we're just going to jump ahead a little bit as they do their negotiations, and we'll take a look at them. We'll go down to first switch 2. You remember this line, the first line was set to dynamic auto. And then the other line is set to dynamic desirable. So I jump in here and I enable conf t, or actually not conf t, I'll just do a show int, and my interface is g0 slash 1, g0 slash 1, switch port, and I can see that it is operating at static access. All right, so dynamic auto on one side and then just the default on the other side creates static access. Then I go to the other switch and I jump in and I do conf actually enable show int and this interface is g0 slash 2 g0 slash 2 oops uh, switch port and I can see this one is an operational mode trunk so that line is now a trunking line. So we can see that from a single switch, you can make both sides negotiate to be, well, trunking. You can see the administrative mode of this one was dynamic auto. So it was already set to, by default, be dynamic auto. So if I go back to this main switch, I can configure both ports to be dynamic desirable. Now I'm already in a switch port mode so I can just go to the other one and configure it but I want to do both at the same time so I can do int range g0 slash 1 dash 2 for both of them and then I can do switch port mode dynamic desirable and then they're both set to desirable. One was already desirable the other one changes to desirable and now both lines should be trunking lines when we are done here so just speed up and they're both trunking lines go over here and verify once again so I show that switch port and I can see that it is now a trunking mode and the other one should still be a trunking mode and I will just go and verify that and I can see that it's operating as a trunk as well. So switch port, you go in there, you set the mode, 
and you can send them to be dynamic desirable on just one device and it'll push it down to the other devices that are directly connected. Now you just have to make sure that they are dynamic auto, which they are by default. And that's all you need to know.